Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, code uh, CD that is parallel to this uh, diameter of this uh, semicircle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, this uh, green uh, right triangle uh, BCD is uh, confined uh, between them. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, AB is uh, 6 uh, units, whereas this segment uh, BE is uh, 10. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, triangle. Uh, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, diameter AE is equal to these uh, two segments uh, AB and BE. This is uh, 6 uh, and this is uh, 10. So therefore, the diameter of this uh, semicircle is going to be equal to 6 uh, plus 10. Uh, that is going to become uh, 16. So the radius uh, of this semicircle is going to be half of this diameter. So this is going to be 8 uh, units. Let me go ahead and call this uh, radius as lowercase r. So r is going to be 8. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular dp on this uh, diameter. And likewise, I have dropped uh, another perpendicular cf uh, on this uh, diameter as well. And now we can see that this code uh, CD and this uh, diameter, they are uh, parallel. So therefore, this perpendicular uh, DP is going to be equal to this uh, perpendicular uh, CF. And furthermore, uh, this segment uh, PO is going to be equal to this segment uh, OF, where O is the center of this uh, semicircle. Let me label uh, this segment uh, PO as uh, X, then this uh, OF is going to be X uh, as well. Let me call uh, this uh, perpendicular DP, this is Y, and then this uh, side is going to be Y as well. And now we can see we got these uh, two right triangles, this right triangle uh, DPB and the other right triangle uh, CFB. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. Now let's assume in this uh, right triangle uh, that this angle is uh, alpha. We know this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And furthermore we know that this is our 90 degree angle and this is our angle alpha. So therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now in this uh, right triangle, uh, the, if this angle is beta and this is our 90 degree angle, then this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. So therefore we conclude that uh, these uh, two right triangles, uh, triangle uh, DPB and this other right triangle uh, CFB are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, the ratio of uh, PB, let me write down PB and PD is going to be equal to the ratio CF and BF. And now let's make an observation. We can see that our radius is 8. In other words, this AO segment is 8 and this AB segment is 6. So therefore, this tiny segment uh, BO is going to be 8 minus 6 is going to make uh, 2 units. So therefore we can see that this segment uh, PB is going to be X uh, minus 2. So that is going to be X uh, minus uh, 2. And likewise uh, this uh, BF uh, segment is going to be X uh, plus 2. So that is going to become uh, X uh, plus uh, 2. So therefore we can see that this uh, PB segment uh, turns out to be X uh, minus uh, 2. Our this uh, PD segment uh, is uh, lowercase y. Likewise this uh, CF segment is lowercase y. And finally this uh, BF segment is uh, X uh, plus uh, 2. 
as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore we can write uh, x uh, minus 2 times uh, x uh, plus 2 is going to be equal to y times y is going to give us uh, y square. And now let's recall this uh, famous uh, identity. a minus b times a plus b is always equal to the difference of two squares. a square minus uh, b square. We are going to apply it on the left hand side. So therefore our left hand side becomes uh, x square minus uh, 4 equal to y square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, our equation uh, number uh, 1. And here's our next step. I have uh, connected uh, this uh, point uh, D with this uh, center O. And now we can see that this uh, D O is the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. We know this radius is equal to 8. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, D P O. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our uh, Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call this longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side uh, lowercase a and this uh, lowercase uh, b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is x. So this become x square, b is y. So become y square equal to c is 8. So 8 square. Let me go ahead and call uh, this is our equation uh, number uh, 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see our y square value is uh, x square minus 4. We are going to substitute this uh, value over here for y square. So I'm going to replace this y square by x square minus uh, 4 over here. So therefore this is going to become x square plus uh, x square minus uh, 4 equal to 64. Let's go ahead and add uh, 4 on both sides. This is gone. So 2x square turns out to be 68. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore x square turns out to be 34. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square roots uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our x value turns out to be square root of uh, 34. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation uh, 1. And here I have copied it down. x square minus 4 is uh, y square. And we know our x value is square root of 34. I am going to substitute this uh, x value by square root of uh, 34. So therefore this is going to become square root of uh, 34 whole uh, square minus uh, 4 equal to y square. Here square square root is gone. So 34 minus 4 is going to give us y square. So therefore y square turns out to be 30. Let's go ahead and undo this square on both sides. So therefore our y value turns out to be square root of 30. So thus our x value turns out to be square root of 34 and y value is square root of 30. And now let's focus on this rectangle PFCD. And now let's make an observation. We can see its uh, length of this uh, rectangle is going to be x uh, plus x uh, is going to become uh, 2x. And the width uh, of this uh, rectangle is going to be y. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, rectangle uh, PFCD. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length uh, times width. In our case, uh, our length is uh, 2 times x uh, and the width is uh, y. So therefore the area of this uh, rectangle is going to be 2x times uh, y. And now we know that our x value is square root of 34 and y value is uh, square root of 30. We are going to substitute uh, over here. So this is going to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 34 times uh, square root of uh, 30. And if we simplify everything as you can see, the area of this uh, rectangle turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of uh, 255. And now let's focus on this uh, green uh, right uh, triangle uh, BCD. We can see it's this uh, base uh, is uh, same as the length uh, of this uh, rectangle which is uh, 2x. And the height uh, of this uh, green uh, triangle is same as uh, this uh, y. So therefore we conclude that the green triangle area is going to be equal to 
the half of this uh, rectangle uh, PFCD area and we already figured out uh, our rectangle area as uh, 4 times square root of 255. So therefore I am going to substitute uh, this value over here. So it's going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 255. If we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 200 uh, and uh, 55 so thus the area of this uh, green uh, triangle turns out to be 2 times the uh, square root of 255 uh, square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 32 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye